Good morning, Mary Manning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Do you like ghost stories? Um, some. Some? Because like some of them are scary ghost stories. That's true. Um, do you have like ghost story books in your library? Um, I think so. Yeah, when I was a kid, I loved to go to the library and look up the 13 ghosts of Alabama and Jeffrey. Really? Yeah, it's a book about ghosts. It's super scary. Why would you even read it, though? Because I love a ghost story. <laughs> Today, we're going to hear a kind of ghost story. Sort of. Some people think it's a ghost story, but it's really not. You ready to listen? Yeah. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Are we glad to be here today? Yes. We have a neat story today. I'm going to show you the picture. Those look like ghosts. They look like ghosts? Yes. I don't know. It, that's a pretty long word. Can you say that word? The what? Tran Transfigurationer. So close. The transfiguration. The transfiguration. Are you ready to hear the story? Yes. Okay. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. Higher and higher they climbed right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. Jesus' face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. That's what that picture looks like. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus, talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, a cloud covered the mountain, and a voice said, you want to read this part? This is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter. The voice was God. But you have to make those. You have to make the those. The voice was God. That's right. All right. Let me go now. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before. Even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise, but they didn't tell anyone else what happened on the mountain for a long time. Look at the cloud in the sky. Imagine hearing God's voice coming from it. What is God saying to you? When you look up at the sky, what do you think God is saying to you? Hmm. You tell I tell, no, I'm asking you, your opinion. What do you think he's saying to you? Uh, I don't really know. Well, think about some things God wants from us. What does he want us to be? Loving. Loving. Be kind. Right? Mm -hmm. Be our best selves. Yeah? Uh-huh. I like that story because uh, it's just one of the many miracles that happens in the Bible. And this is a really special one. And that is what our art projects it's going to help us remember this big, special event. All right? You want to go get our stuff? Yes. Okay. Okay. Who do you think this is? An Jesus. outline of. Yes. All right. So, I just kind of made an outline of what I would think Jesus would be. And then what we're going to do, here, you take this one. Yeah. And you can start. Is you tape it down on a piece of paper like this. It's probably best to use kind of a thick piece of paper but I didn't have a thick piece of paper. And then you're not gonna necessarily cover, color Jesus. You're gonna kind of, like you're, when you're doing like a leaf print or something like that, when you go over something like this. Oh. See how I'm doing? And you can do different colors too. So you tape him down to a white piece of paper and you're just doing kind of like when you do rubbings, like, um, when you do coin rubbings or leaf rubbings, I know we do those in our class, you do leaf rubbings or anything like that. And then keep going, all these different, you gotta get, now I mean, you gotta get to the sides, like see? Oh. See how I'm doing? You can't totally, um, so yeah, you're coloring on top of it, but the what's more important is the coloring that you're doing around Jesus and then, what will happen is 
we're going to create something very beautiful. Ooh, you're doing a great job. Yeah, a stronger piece of paper probably would have been better. But when you take Jesus off the paper. All right, so there he is. When you take him off. <gasps> the transfiguration. So he was as white, what did it say in there? As white as the sun, or as white as a star, shining like the sun. And if you were to look around, yeah. Mine's not that well, good. Well, that's, no, it is good. It's just that you didn't, like, look, you just got to go do a little bit more closer to him, like. <laughs> and then when you're done, it'll show. And so all you have left is this white thing, just like in the story. Okay? Ta -da! All right. Let's see if Vicar Andy can tell us a little bit more about our story, The Transfiguration, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, bye. So that was an interesting story, right? Yeah. Do you know what happens to everybody in the Bible who gets close to God? They Does, become someone? They become dazzling white. In fact, it says that when Moses saw God, his face got so red, everybody kind of thought he was sunburned. Oh. Uh, yeah, and so then Jesus there on the mountain is tr they they say he's transfigured and he becomes dazzling white. Dazzling white. Dazzling like white. Like he disappeared. Right. Oh, he disappeared, but he came back. So you better come back. Yeah. And and the and the disciples who were with him on the mountain they felt so close to God because of his dazzling white. You know what they wanted to do? They want to become dazzling white. They No, they wanted to build a tent and stay right there. Because sometimes when we feel God's presence so close, we don't want to leave, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what that tells us is that God really does make all of us a light in the world, doesn't he? Yeah. What does it mean to be a light in the world? It means to shine bright to God. And to bring others closer to God, right? Yeah. Well... That's kind of what the transfiguration did. It, it showed God's light in the world through Jesus, and then it brought other people closer to God. Uh -huh. And right. that's what we're called to do every day, is to shine God's light in the world and bring other people closer to God by helping them know that God truly loves them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How can you do that every day? By showing kindness and love. By showing kindness and love. That's very good. Well, this week, maybe you'll, you all can think each day about how you're going to bring God's love to other people around you at school or in the grocery store oh. or at the skating rink or at the ballet class. In church. In the church. Until then, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.